Hey guys, welcome to the last part of my Fight Caves walkthrough using melee. And we're just at the double 360 spawn, one wave away from Jad. So, we're going to get the furthest away from the little spot we're going to use, get that one killed. And this might be where you want to stop listening to my guide, you might want to just range Jad. You might want to even go for the Vengeance and Chompers method that I've got posted up. It really depends what you feel comfortable with, but if you're going to try and melee jad, then I'm going to hopefully be able to do a little bit of a guide while I go for it myself. And hopefully I'm not going to die and make a fool of myself. But, you never know. So, normally I'd be saying when jad spawns, you want to be using... Well, Camtasia, thanks for that. As I was saying, when Jad spawns, normally I would be saying you'd want to be using this prayer if you hear this sound, then swap. But about a week or two ago, they did change the they did change the sounds, and they did change them again after that. So there's no real point in saying do this, do that, because in a week or so it might be changed again. So. I'm just going to say, if you're using the setup I am, we've got a good range defense, we've got a good range soak, so we're going to go for magic prayer, and then we'll be able to tank any range attack that Chad gives, especially as we'll be brewed. So, get this last 360 pretty much dead, and then we want to pot up, so we'll brew. Super star, super attack, super strength, then go for the kill. Now, if you're using sounds, even though you don't have to react to them, if you hear an attack sound coming at you, make sure then you go out and look for Jad. As you can see, we've got kind of a lucky spawn there, but if he's out there in the open and he attacks you, you see something coming at you, don't just freeze, run out so you can see it, and then you can react to his next set of attacks. So, as is there, let's go and see what he's, see what he's doing. Now, if you're ranging, or if you're using a halley, a little tip. If you're praying range, always keep your mouse over the mage. And likewise, praying mage, always keep your mouse ready over range. That way, it doesn't really take any time to switch, and you can do it pretty much instantly. Now, when you go to attack Jad, don't just do it randomly because then you might melee wait till he doesn't attack like that click him and then melee prey so you want to camp melee prey when he's attacking you unless you see him do another attack so hopefully he'll do something different soon like mage so you mage prey then back onto melee mage again then you go back onto your melee and you just carry on attacking him like that. Now you've got the healers, so we'll stand away, keep watching Jad, and the best tip I can see here is attack one healer between each of Jad's attacks. So, he's maging, and if it helps, say it out loud, wait for his attack, make sure you're praying right. Now you can now run the healers south on that rock or you can just kill them up here I'll just kill them up here so you might be able to get a bit of switching practice in just remember to focus on Jad because that's the only thing that's really going to kill you from now on unless you're at level 20 defense in monk's robes like my pure was so carrying on just focusing on Jad still attacking the healers when you can do and that's pretty much all there is to melee and jad really. If you've got a special weapon, you know, the temptation is to risk it and go for the special kill at the end. But too many times I've done that and I've, and I've hit zero with dragon claws. So, go back to jad. And I'm going to miss the next attack just to show you 
what you can do. Look, if you miss your attack, don't panic or let it hit a zero. Either's fine, really. And at zero again. Okay, then, Drad. Uh, in before another zero, is it? Oh, okay. So, yeah, if you're following this guide, you can either just pray melee and tank it like a boss, or you can pray switch properly. So, I guess that's my guide to melee and fight caves and jad over. Now, I'm probably going to get a random event here, like I do it almost every time I get a fight cape. Obviously, I won't this time. No, I've said it. But, hopefully, I've said some tips. I'll tell you things you probably didn't know before and if anyone manages to get a fire cape using any tips I've mentioned then please do leave me a comment and on the end of this video I'll probably add anything I can think of which I don't think I've mentioned or I can't remember mentioning so um, thanks again for watching and I will we'll see you later